What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with more Pokemon Xenoverse. Thank you for joining me, as always. Previous episode ended off on a negative note. We took on a X species Roserade, and we knocked it out. However, all's not lost, because I found out we still have the chance to capture X species Budgie later in the game. So it's okay, but it did a number on our team. So I'm going to uh, quickly do some heals. And in the process of that battle going down, I think a gateway to the Xenoverse has been opened. So I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to actually go to the Xenoverse right now or not. Oh, they used Trey. Well, outstanding job, Trey. We have the Xenoverse energy in our hands too. Had any doubts, old timer? <laughs> I'm feeling this incredible power flowing through me. Nothing and no one will stop me now. But this isn't enough. I want more and more. Cool your jets, kid. What we had to do here was has already been done. So get off your high horse and get back to the hideout with us and don't make any fuss. <laughs> I don't get on all fours for an old geezer like you. I'm getting back to the hideout just because I want to. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> You're still keeping on this disobedient child routine, but I can't deny I'm pleasantly surprised. I had never thought that the blue energy would have made you so cooperative, albeit in your unique way. Cut the chatter, old man. I'm done with this place. If I have to come with you, hurry the hell up. All right. Trey. What? You want to fight me? Don't be ridiculous. If you think I let this new power overwhelm me, you're dead wrong. <laughs> the thirst for power has given me the right occasion to get out of that place. Using this body as a shell, I, a mere altar, will become the strongest of them all. <laughs> if someone's stopping me, it's not going to be you for... Oh, Shulong ain't messing. Yo, Sabbolt looks like that. That is dope. Hey, Sabbolt, who told you to come out? It's not even worth spending one single shred of energy against this weakling. He's still a long way to deserve a fair match with us. <laughs> We'll meet again sooner or later, and only then will I accept a battle against you, Zira. Until then, do me a favor and don't just stand there doing nothing. <laughs> See you next time, Zira. Assuming there will be a next time. Zira! I dragged you into all of this and I haven't even been able to help you. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Just a coward. That's what I am. It's okay, little buddy. Brave? Me? You really think that, Zira? Thank you for the nice words, and I'll treasure them, but I think you're being too nice with me. This trainer is right. Take the compliments, son. You deserve them. D daddy are you okay? Soothe your soul, Ruta. I'm all in one piece, and I'd say that's what matters. It could have been lethal, but thanks to yours and this young kid's aid, it was not. Don't thank me, it was all Zira. He took down that Roserade that was keeping you under its spell. It was nothing but a burden to him. So tell me, who brought this trainer here? Don't even try to accuse me, Dad. I was going to bring him as a thief so I could have been praised by you. But then when things went bad, I had no choice but to ask help from the same person I was going to blame for something I did. Son, there is no harm to beg for help from others when your abilities aren't enough. No matter what your origin... I was going to say origin. No matter what your original intentions were, because you represented your misbehavior and changed your mind. You should greatly... You showed great maturity, and I couldn't be more proud of you, Ruta. 
D Dad, Daddy, I'm so happy you're safe. Don't hug me so tight. <laughs> After this whole thing, I'm going to take a break from my duty so we can spend some time together, alright? Yay! Zero, that's your name, right? I reckon it wasn't easy to watch this little troublemaker. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Seriously, you've been great at breaking the curse cast by that Roserade. The energies have found their rightful owner, but I'm afraid to say it's not the same for the other kid. Would you mind if we continue our discussion elsewhere? After all this, I'm feeling a bit peckish and I'd really like to grab a bite. I can hear your stomach growling. Me too, I'm starving. Alright then, let's continue this conversation over a feast. A bit improvised, but it's better than nothing, don't you think? Ruta, could you please leave us alone for a minute? Ah, alright. But this road's coming with me. Zira, as the chosen one, it is your duty to be aware of this situation. Along with the Xeno Gate of the Zenith Cave, where you dealt the trial. Today, the count of gates drained out of all their energy goes up to two. At the moment, the Xeno Gate held by the Cardinal of Boralus Town seems to be still intact. The same goes for the gate in Welcome Falls devoted to Luxlon, of which only us Cardinals have knowledge. Hence, those scoundrels had nothing but my gate to seize the Xenoverse energy. But as I was saying, I really don't like that guy who has extracted it. It looks like he's been completely taken over by the darkness and that's too bad. The ones who hold the energies are meant to fight each other. However, because you received the Cardinal's blessing with no shortcuts, you are the only chosen one. Then it will be your duty to bring that kid to his senses at your next encounter. I shudder to think that such a heavy burden weighs upon your young shoulders, but don't give up. You can do it beyond any doubt. That's very kind of you, sir. Am I allowed to leave? Do I just walk out? You know, Zero. I'm beginning to suspect the choice of the Temple Xeno Gate was not random. I don't know if it was the easiest for them to reach, but it was definitely the most convenient choice. Could it be that Shyleon Temple was on their way to Vegas City? Well, this is just the assumption of a savage, but urban civilization has never appealed to me. Okay, so he believes that maybe they were on their way to Vegas City and they stopped off at the temple on the way through. Now, the city was being blocked off in this direction before, but is it open now? Because if it's open up now, that's the way we're going. It is the way we're going. Okay, here we go, Vegas City. Vegas Department Store, hang on. First stop, don't mind if I do. Um, there's four floors. I was hoping taking the elevator would have, um, shown not just, like, numbered floor, but showed what was on said floor. stones oh this is the this is ginger's dad 
The one that gave us the, ho the hoverboard. We got spare parts. What are the spare parts for? Spare parts kit for racing vehicles is loved by certain people. Oh, hang on, that could be uh, that could be what evolves old mate, the um, the vroom bug. I was hoping there would be a person that would sell some TMs, but. Old items? Yeah, well, we'll buy a black sludge. That is the perfect move to put on, uh, the perfect item to put on Old Mate on Bling Grudge. Um, let's go for 40 quick balls. Okay, now that we're stocked up. Have a look around town. Pokemon Center, thank you. You're Zira, aren't you? I've been looking for you everywhere. I've come on behalf of Aster himself. He asked me for a favor to deliver this little present to you here. Oh, we've got Xenolith! Beautiful! He's been very busy in some business lately, but he really wanted to reward you for your splendid job. Well, I'm done here. I'd better get back to work now. Keep it up, Zero. See you. Well, now if we find that, um... That Budgeu in the wild, or even a Ghastly now, we've got the Xenolith to help with that, um... Further evolution. Purchase this ice scraper with the intention of making it for a sp Oh! Okay, so that's going to be like a battle tower in the post game. That's what I feel is going down there. It's unreadable. Well, no battles going down in there. Buzz off, human. Hang on a minute. The casino! Little bit of gamble, gamble. Welcome to the Eldu Casino. Unfortunately, it looks like you were still too young to gamble, but feel free to look around. Hey, what are you staring at? Out of my face now. I'll take the shell bell. It's a shame I'm too young to gamble. Rock Smash Bros. That's actually pretty clever. That was actually pretty clever. Wendy, let's go home. I'll... Okay. Has anybody seen some evil deeds being done around here? I'm here to stop them. Sunshine Circus, step right up, ladies and gentlemen! 
the traveling gym of Sunshine Circus has opened its doors. Ho ho, a lucky volunteer from the audience has decided to take a stand. We want to take all the most quirky gym challenge that Eldu has ever seen. Let's give him a warm round of applause, come on! And now, let's get started! With the grace of a feather dancing in the sky, here comes the first trainer of this gym. Make some noise for Skylar, the stylish acrobat! Merci, merci beaucoup. I'm sure this battle's gonna be très excellent. Excitant. Bring it on, challenger. Allez. This to me seems like it could be a flying type gym, which means Electabuzz is about to go to town. Shulong hit level 50, Rexpium 47, Charizard. No, we won't swap out because it's fire flying. Hit that T-Bolt, baby! I got blown away. It seems that today's challenger is someone not to take lightly, huh? Our next fighter is just what we need against such a crushing power. A man whose strength is equal to that of a hundred men capable of lifting a golem with one single arm. Goliath the giant strongman, let's give him a big welcome. <laughs> my opponent is this bite-sized runt. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Try to at least. <laughs> Dressed up like a goddamn fucking m -ball. Have a look at him. Which means he'll have one. You want to send out your fighting type mons? That's fine. Harrock. Come on out here for a minute, my friend. My friending. We've got some fighting type Pokemon to drill pack. Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. Get wrecked. Didn't even have an inboard after being dressed up like one. Damn the time, that was tough. Hoo hoo, who would expect that the challenger was able to take down his huge opponent? Well then, last but not least, we have a real veteran here at Sunshine Circus. Since he was a kid, he never left his food to cool off before biting it. In fact, he used to chomp the morsel while still steaming. Then he went beyond making the fire itself his daily meal. Here comes Ranier, the Fire Eater! If only I could gobble this fiery welcome, I'd get absolutely stuffed. <laughs> but we got some someone clearly burning here, huh? Alright, I'll eat the flame of your determination and burn out your spirit. <laughs> Doom, Heart Dark Tide, which means Low Kick is going to be super effective. Sk 
Carlisle. He's about to get hit by a hurricane. Which misses. That's okay. Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Calm and cool tempers are my natural enemies. Not even the explosive runny air was able to melt the chill of today's challenger. And now the public in its raptures calling for the last big match of this show. So it's time for the big finale, but you all have been waiting for... The battle against the Star of Sunshine Circus, the Gym Leader! But today's show includes a sensational plot twist, because instead of the gym leader, the challenger will have to face me. <laughs> Gengar! <laughs> Hiya, folks! Are you surprised, Zira? Don't tell me you forgot about me. Come on, don't give me that look. We're here to have a laugh, right? I could tell this whole show thing was such a wild ride, Gengar. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, take it easy, I haven't done anything wrong this time. I just took the opportunity that the missing gym leader of this circus gave me to have some fun. Kings like me need some entertainment too, you know. But other than that, I just couldn't miss the chance of being the center of everything. I didn't forget I still have the score to settle with you. I knew you'd have to come here. And what's more, you can't back out now. All these servants here are just waiting for the climax. You know... I've learned a lot about you humans since last time. This this time I'm do things in style. Obviously it wouldn't be much of a scene for a charming Pokemon to battle a lowly plebeian, so I won't do it. Not myself at least, Gengar. <laughs> I'll sink to your level and battle you using these two Pokemon that I borrowed, Gengaha. <laughs> hey folks, let me hear some noise for this unexpected battle. And you Zira, it's showtime, Gengaha. <laughs> Well, Incineroar is part Dark type. So you're about to get smacked with a low kick. Of course, it knows Intimidate. That tickled. That tickled. Is this enough for the KO? No! Shulong wants to learn Crush Claw. Different. Speaking of Shulong, it's time to shine. And Gengar's been defeated. Curse you! My image has been stained once more and this time in front of all these servants. I'm just digging my own grave deeper. A true leader has to show it's acceptable to accept failures too. <laughs> Alright people, you've all seen, right? This trainer defeated me. So what? The whole point is to have fun, isn't it? What on earth is going on here? Breakfast! Here you are, it's Gym Leader Henna. Wow, this show is really full of surprises. Genga, well it's time to say goodbye to my most devoted subjects. Are to you, Genga. 
Hey, where do you think you're going? Hmm, it's really gone. I suppose that was Gengar Abraham was telling me about. That's really a slippery devil. Look, what it did to my poor sunshine circus. Oh, who's there? So that's what happened? Well, at least you put on a good show for my audience. But it was... It has to burn in hell, okay. Could have cleaned this mess before sneaking out my circus. Oh, no more fuss. I'd better roll up my sleeves and fix this place up for the next show now. Back to you, Zera. If you still want to accept Sunshine Circus City Gym Challenge, you'd better prepare yourself if you don't want to get burned. Alright, folks. Sunshine Circus now closes its doors to prepare the best stage for the battle. The challenge is Zera versus me, the gym leader, Hannah. Hey, kid. I saw you battling there, you know. You were amazing. I hate the circus, but it's always a great pleasure seeing trainers at your level at work. You're traveling beyond Eldu hunting for the gym badges, am I right? Well, in that case, here I have something that you may come in handy, but just giving it to you would be too easy. If yours only if you bring fire and brimstone down in the battle against my little grandchild, Henna. Only if you get to corner them, you will find me in front of the old abandoned gym. I reckon he's going to give us surf. But at any rate, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you for joining me as always. I'm going to go get my heels on. When we return, we are going to take on the gym challenge, which is going to be inside a circus tent, which I think is a great concept for a Pokemon battle. Hope you guys have been enjoying this so far. If you have been, you can hit that like button down below. If you want to support myself further and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. If you've missed any episodes, as I said at the top of the video, there is a playlist you can check out in the description. Make sure you hit that notification bell before you leave to stay up to date with future uploads. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>